Diabetes insipidus is an uncommon disorder where the kidneys are unable to hold on to water in the body, thus leading to an imbalance of fluids. It is characterised by the production of excessive volumes of urine that is colourless and tasteless along with severe thirst. To give an idea of how much urine a person with diabetes insipidus would be excreting, in a day the average healthy person would be generating anywhere between 1 and 2 litres of urine, while someone who has severe diabetes insipidus and is drinking lots of fluids could be excreting as much as 19 litres of urine. They need to urinate frequently, also known as polyuria, and they may also feel thirsty extremely often and drink fluids all the time in a condition known as polydipsia. While the name can often sound similar to the much more well-known diabetes mellitus, the two are fundamentally different as blood glucose levels are generally normal in people with diabetes insipidus. The only thing common in between the two is that affected people generally urinate and feel thirsty a lot. Diabetes insipidus has four types, but the most common varieties are central diabetes insipidus and nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Our bodies produce a hormone called antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin or AVP, in the hypothalamus, which is released into the blood from the pituitary gland of our brain and tells our kidneys to hold on to water. Damage to either of these, or any other problem over here, can mean that not enough AVP is produced and released, which can lead to what is known as central diabetes insipidus. Alternatively, enough AVP could be present, but if the kidneys do not respond to the hormone as they should, it can again lead to excessive fluid excretion in what is known as nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Gestational diabetes insipidus is a rare complication of pregnancy, while primary polydipsia can also serve as an important differential in the condition. For more information, please visit the You and Your Hormones website.